right, here we are, Nam 2013. We're still at the Waves booth. God, we could hang out here all day with Luke, I tell you. There's so much to see and all this great stuff. But right now, we're going to look at a new signature series uh, that they've got out here. Uh, Luke? Cool. Thanks, Kevin. So the new signature series is going to be with Manny Marroquin, uh, an excellent mixer. Credits are a mile long. Um, and he has some really interesting processes. We approached him about doing an artist signature series, and he jumped at the chance and basically led us into some of his secrets, which is very cool. So these aren't out yet, but they'll be out very, very soon. First, second quarter? Or not, I, not announced? As far as I know, within a month. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's what I'm. That's what we're hoping for. We can download the demos off the website. As yeah, soon as they come out, you'll be able to download the seven-day demo, try it out in your own listening environment. Absolutely. So with Manny Marroquin, first one I'll show is an EQ plugin, and the idea behind the EQ plugin is Manny likes to, when he's mixing, he likes a specific hardware EQ for each band that he might want to boost or cut. So when he's boosting 50 hertz, he's using a specific piece of hardware to do that. When he boosts 110 hertz, well that's a different piece of hardware altogether. 140, same thing, different piece of hardware. 220, different piece of hardware. So every time you make a frequency select here, you're getting a different piece of analog modeling. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly right. Now, all the way up to 25k. Wow, that's which way is, beyond my. That's uh, a dog whistle. Yeah, that. exactly. <laughs> Oddly enough, you can hear it because the shelf technically starts at 3k, right. but it adds that sparkle, that breath, that air to vocals or whatever else you need to add it to. It's a really great EQ, very, very versatile and taking advantage of all of Manny's favorite pieces of hardware EQs. I was going to ask you, what dog did you get to come in to do the test? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. We just assumed it works. No, it, uh, uh, you, it's funny. I know what you mean, yeah. No, it's funny because you see that 25K setting, you're like, I'm not going to be able to hear that. But you absolutely can. Yeah. Now, the next plugin is going to be the Tone Shaper. So much like he likes to use a specific piece of hardware for boosting and cutting certain frequencies, he also likes to parallel process the same way. So he'll use a specific uh, compressor in EQ and a specific frequency range uh, for his parallel processing also. So this tone shaper kind of allows you to do exactly that. So. Just move these up a little bit. It's amazing. And it's not just dynamics, not just EQ, not just expansion, it's tone shaping. Yeah. Uh, some of these series and it is it is brilliant what you can actually get your hands on by modeling multiple pieces of gear together and then just making a simple and intuitive interface correct to allow you to get some i mean you do still have to work it like an engineer you know and if you don't know a lot you can get some really satisfying results but the, these are just brilliant plugins. exactly exactly now we've got two more we've got a reverb we got two more Available for show today, but there's going to be a total of six plugins in the bundle. There'll also be a triple D, DS or D Harcher, D Boxer, and there'll also be a uh, distortion module. Those aren't currently available. In this collection. Yeah, no, those aren't currently available here today, but they will absolutely be in the bundle when it comes out. So, what we also have to show here today is the Manny Reverb. He likes some different pieces of hardware for that as well. Oh yeah, so it's real simple controls here. Time, pre-delay, dry wet slider, lows, mids, high, so a three band EQ. And another thing I thought was very interesting with him is he likes to compress his reverb returns sometimes. They might be 
too wide for him. So he likes to maybe do a little bit of compression to, to bring him in in exactly the space he wants him to be in. So we added a compressor to his reverb. Very, very nice. And then, if you need to, dirty it up or add some more character to what's a normal reverb. Verb distortion. Distortion or phaser, you know? So the sky's the limit with this plugin. Excellent. And then I'll say the last one here, real fast. Show the delay. And we feel like this is a necessary update to our existing delays. We have a lot of great delays, yeah. but this is just taking that a step further. And I'll say that this is the very first Waves delay that has independent controls for the left channel and the right channel. Oh, very cool. Yeah, so that's nice. And then we also have much the same way, especially when you're using digital delays, a lot of times you have to gang a reverb on after that and a distortion on that to make it sound cool. So we added a verb, a distortion, a doubler, and a phaser to the delay unit itself. Excellent. Which is similar to how Manny works. So we're very, very happy that he let us in on his secrets, and we're really excited about these new plugins. Me too. Yeah. Can't wait to download this. Hopefully we'll see yeah. it in about a month. Uh, NAMDA 2013. All right, thanks.